Hello appraisers. We had a couple questions, so I just wanted to make a video showing you how to get your actual data into a report. What you're basically going to do is either use a PDF or an image and attach that to your report as a, another addenda. And so I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'm going to go ahead and get into an existing session here. I'm just going to load up this one right here. Okay, so I'm all set. I've got everything chosen here, got my adjustments handled. So what I do is I hit export, and then what you're going to see is a list of the files. You have the work file, which, as it says here, includes everything. And then you also can download separately these three files. And the reason you can we allow you to download them separately is because you may want to just attach these to your actual report. So if this is the one you want to attach to your report, all you do is you click it. And of course, you can click work file, download the entire thing as well. But in the meantime, you have that adjustments PDF right here. And so now I can go straight into my report. And now I'm going to do this in total because that's what I'm using right now. But the same thing will apply to ACI or click forms or Nexus or whatever you're using. So I'm going to go right here, click insert, choose from PDF. And you name it, which I have already got my name saved in there because I use that a lot. And then you just hit browse. And it for me, it saves it into my downloads folder. So I just choose that. There's the file I just downloaded. Hit open. And then you hit OK. All right. And so it just added this page right here to the bottom of my report. And there it is. And now you can see it does look a little... I don't know, not the greatest quality. However, when you PDF this, it will look better to the client as far as what they actually get. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, print this to PDF and I'm just going to print that one page. And let's just, yeah, we'll name it that. Okay, and here it is. You can see that it actually looks pretty good. It's pretty easy to read. Now, if you were to zoom in and get really close, Actually, that still looks okay. Super close, doesn't look quite as good. What we did is if you're having issues with the PDF looking good in the actual product that goes to your client, then what you can do is in Synapse, let me get over here and show you. We created some export options. So you can click this icon and you can choose to include an image file. Now, depending on your settings in your form filler, image files can look better than the PDF. So I can click, yes, I want the image file, and it's saved that change. And then now when I export, and you just do that for whatever document that you want to go into your report. So I did it for the primary adjustment document, so that's what it put here. And you could do it for the comment document and the method overview as well. Either one of those three you might want to include in your report. And so I just click, instead of PDF file, I can click the image file. I don't need to get the work file because I already downloaded that. But you can see there's my image file. And now I can go right back into total. I can choose insert. And instead of inserting a PDF, I'm going to choose image. And then I just hit browse. I'm going to pick that, which is the file I just downloaded. Hit open. And then OK. And now you'll see it popped up down here. I can go to that and here you go. So this one does look a bit better already. And then again, just to show you, although the difference isn't significant with my settings, I will show you what it looks like if we print that to PDF. You may have different results depending on your settings with how your form filler handles images and PDFs. So I'm gonna go ahead and print both pages and we'll just call this one a slightly different name. All right, so this is the PDF one right here, and this is the image. Uh, it does look crisper to me. It looks nicer, so you might want to include this, but basically that's it. You have the choice of either choosing to include the PDF or the image file. Now, the image file does add on an extra second or two to the export process, so if you're not going to use the images, don't turn them on. Just come up here and say you want the... Uh, document but not necessarily the image file and um, just to show you if you wanted let's say you wanted all three then when I export this is what it would look like
You can see that did take a little bit longer because I turned on all the image files. So now I can choose the image file for any of these three. So if I click this one for the comments, I can click that. And I have an image file now that has all the commentary in there. Okay, that's it. Thanks everybody for watching.